I'm literally eating coolant right now. The coolant flies up, hits me right in the mouth. Howdy! I got a working Galaxy. I'm gonna go drive it. I also got a donut and it's like four, five in the afternoon. Nice. I'm gonna start my truck. Hey, you gonna hook it up to the trailer so we can go out to the desert? Oh, there you go. That'd be a great idea. I gotta finish my donut before I do anything. Oh, yeah, wow. All right, let's give her a whirl. Oh my gosh, I haven't sat in this car in so long. Built a car and you can't even get it out of your backyard. Yeah. It is really, I can't even express how different it is than the first time I drove it. The first time it was like very floaty and whatnot. Now it is very stiff. It's, it need, I need to crank the preload up in the front. It's as soft as it goes. The back feels great because I put preload in it. I didn't put any preload in the front so it's kind of like boing, 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 like kind of loose, but it's very springy. Feels good. Does it look cool? Oh yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's gotta look cool. hits me right in the mouth. Oh God, it tastes horrible. Oh wow. Okay, check if cop then go. How was your first drive? <laughs> I got I just ate so much coolant, dude. Yeah, she's a little smoky. Yeah, she's gotta be. Ah, this makes me so happy for no reason. Now we're getting Mexican food, hell yeah. <laughs> Haven't been here since middle school. This man can't go anywhere without moving this car. Watch, I guarantee you when he gets out he's gonna look back at it. Yep. <clears throat> no, 
normally I would wash my hands. The car guys are immune to everything because of they like they would break they clean and grease. Yeah, that's protein. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. I built that. Look at that. He's probably gonna get a face full of coolant if he gets any closer. That thing's pretty hot. It's gonna spray me in the face of coolant again. Watch. Later. Racing for pinks? Dude, I'm out. Bet. Racing for the Jeep. <laughs> so before we move on, I wanted to take a minute to talk about today's video sponsor, Simply Carbon Fiber. So if you're anything like me, you want everything to be somewhat automotive based, no matter what it is. And that right there is where Simply Carbon Fiber has you covered. So this is one of Simply Carbon Fiber's real carbon fiber slim wallets. Now you can see this thing's only, I don't know, the width of a pencil thick. It's very skinny. So you can see this whole thing is real carbon fiber. This thing looks amazing. It's got a money clip on the back right there for holding some cash. You can actually put a lot of cash in there if you want. I don't have much cash because I have a bunch of cars that don't run. And if you want to access your cards, there's a little slot on the side. You just push on it. You can pull out whatever cards you need. If you want to go out to McDonald's and spend the last $5 you've got because gas prices are so high, you can do that. So there. Simply Carbon Fire makes a bunch of things other than just wallets. They make sunglasses, watches, basically any sort of accessory that you can think of that you would wear or use on a daily day basis. They craft in real aerospace grade carbon fiber, which is really cool to me. That's not just some cheap stuff that's imported and doesn't really work very well. If you guys want to pick up some of this stuff for yourself, I'll have a link down in the description. Definitely go check it out simplycarbonfiber.com they have a bunch of cool accessories and products if you guys want to change up your style a little bit so i just wanted to give a massive thank you to simply carbon fiber for working with me on today's video let's get back into it oh this car is really stiff i got i get totally got to redo like the valving and the adjustment ah, so much for that angle dude yeah all right odds on him making this corner mm. Yeah, I don't have a hood or a windshield or much of anything, but I'm driving. Might have to do a one point, a two point turn. Three point. Mm, we'll see. I can't get over how good this thing runs. Oh, there's the fans. Now I'm going to get sprayed in the face. I can literally see the coolant dripping down the radiator. Oh, no. Oh, no way. Oh, this thing rocks. Oh, we got a tire spin. Ow! Oh, she's got too much power, baby! Yeah! Wow, thing, thing runs great. The audio for that clip is probably just trash, so I apologize. Is this still filming? Huh? Yay, it actually works. <laughs> look at that. Okay. Just look at that piece of junk. That is beautiful. Oh, my headliner fell again. Dude, it was so funny. I was like, ah, oh, this is great. It's nice and cool out. Headliner flapping in the wind. It's just a great day off. Heck yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, that's it. That's gonna be my new desktop. Put the, put the f headliner up. Nah, that's the best part. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it drives awesome. I can like 
not even like trying to fake anything here. It literally, I can light the thing off right now perfectly. That doesn't normally happen around here. So I'm pretty impressed with ourselves, honestly, on that one. I honestly just wanted to make this video kind of just cruising around, driving the car, getting to enjoy it for the first time. And look, what, a year and four months, three months, something like that. I mean, if I pull up Snapchat memories, I think a year ago today, I was doing the trunk pan in this car, either that or the quarter panels. So I've been doing consistent sheet metal work on this car for over a year. And to see it all in one piece with really, really no rust, I think there, no, I don't think there's any rust actually left in this car. I think I fixed everything. The stance is killer. It's just kind of the ratty beater right now, and I like it. I, I was kind of debating, so I figured I'd ask you guys. We're kind of toying with the idea, because initially, basically right now where we're at with this car, it's a good time to basically tear it down. But we're gonna we're gonna shake it down, make everything, make sure everything works, obviously. Get the suspension dialed in, make sure it, it's it's a little bit better handling and can go places and not, you know, break down. But this is typically a state where we would tear it down and get a penny. So my thought, well, Marty and Franklin's thought as well was just throw some glass in it and throw it back together and just drive it like a ratty beater for a little while and enjoy it and work out all your kinks that way so that you don't have to worry about if it's painted, something goes wrong. Let's say you get a flat tire or whatever. I have to adjust something in the rear end or the front end for that matter. But so let me know down in the comments what you guys think. You think we should just put the glass in it, put the interior I have back in it. I might still get the seats reupholstered and whatnot, but maybe work with the interior of the car. So the engine bay is beautiful. We already know that. Marty did a fantastic job helping me do all the wiring and loom on this thing. I don't want to change almost anything in the engine bay, honestly, it looks it looks awesome. I think we did a spectacular job for a couple of 22 and 23 year olds working on this thing in four days for that matter. Pretty much everything from there is we'll do most of the body work ourselves and work on the interior, get the interior just awesome. And then, you know, we'll just tear down some of the, some of the simple things and go get it sprayed. I think that's a realistic thing, but you know, that all comes down to, can I afford it? You know, cause this wasn't really a car I was supposed to keep. It's really growing on me. I will admit that all comes down to, you know, how much, cause I do have like six, seven plus cars. It's, it's really getting ridiculous. So you guys know that these are expensive cars to build. First of all, I have a lot of money in this car. I mean, you can't look at the engine bay in this car and think it was built, you know, for it's less than 10 grand. I'll just put it out there. It's, it's this is a expensive car to build. And then I do have my truck, Fox body, all these other things. So you guys supporting me at 909 speed company, buying the merchandise. That's really all I ask. I don't have a GoFundMe. I don't have a Patreon. I don't have any of that stuff. I don't accept handouts. If you guys want to support me, buy my merchandise that supports this. That is what you see here. Depending on how that does deters what I do with each car. That's how it's always been. That's why I started is to give myself more financial freedom with these cars, which I appreciate. It's been awesome. We're gonna have some new designs coming out this summer that I think I'm really excited about. We'll kind of just see how those do. Once we kind of figure out how those runs do, we'll kind of see what we want to do with some cars and where we want to, where we want to go in the future with some other projects that we have planned for this year that I really am excited to share with you guys. But now we can also start on the red car. That's something I'll probably tie into the, probably mid this summer. We'll probably get around to that. But yeah, it's uh, we got a bunch of projects. Got my truck's engine next. We also just got some new brakes from my Fox body. And now we have wheels and wide body stuff for that car coming in pretty soon. So a lot of fun projects coming in the near future. So we have nothing more than to stay busy. I did want to also take this time to say thank you to all the companies that helped me. Heat Shield Products, you know, working with all the heat, heat products in the engine bay. Auto Metal Direct is really the only reason that this car is still in, you know, didn't get scrapped or cut up as an actual parts car. Because this is my parts car. I want to remind all you guys. Parts car. Yeah, this was a parts car. Pretty cool parts car, not gonna lie. It's, it's pretty fancy. I, I tend to spiral things that you guys like to say, tip, a lot of car guys like to say their project spiral out of control. This is the definition of spiraling out of control. This is my parts car. Literally on my parts car. Well, that's I a pretty nice parts, parts off car. of my main car to fix this one. I don't know what's wrong with me. Hey, this one's nicer than the red car. Don't say that, but yes, it is. But anyways, I, I tend to be like that. But, but yeah, Auto Metal Direct, absolutely game changing in terms of the life of this car. All the sheet metal in the back of this car was Auto Metal Direct. All the sheet metal on my car was Auto Metal Direct. The whole trunk floor in this car is Automail Direct. Yeah, everything for both of my Galaxies has been Automail Direct. I can't say anything better about their products. They're awesome. Everything fit beautifully. Because this car sits so low to fit the Alden American coilovers, which is another amazing sponsor of this car. I actually had a notch in. I made that bead rolled panel to fit the coilovers. There's a bar, two inch 250 wall bar that runs across the frame. That's our coilover mount. It has a set of Alden American coilovers in the rear as well as in the front. They need some valve adjusting for what it is right out of the box. You see, this thing handles, it's on rails. Like it doesn't body roll at all. Like you expect a Galaxy to be like this? No. Thing is, there's no sway bar in the front either. So I didn't even put the sway bar in it. And it does really, really good. So yeah, the Alden American suspensions really just came out awesome. Uh, I Frenched in the gas door in the back of this car. You guys saw that. I can't remember off the top of my head what the brand is of that thing, but it's just basically a universal billet gas door. I have a key for it, which I forgot. So hopefully we don't have to put gas in it. <laughs> it's just an eBay four link kit in this car. I don't recommend buying it if you're gonna buy a four link. The Ritec one's cool. If you want to go this low, you're going to have to cut it up. 
So you can get an eBay kit and know you're gonna cut it up if you wanna go this low, or you can kinda just go the easier route and bolt in a right, right tech kit, but you're not gonna be this low with a right tech kit. That's the only thing I will say. It's a lot of work to get to get one of these this low. There's 20 inch, 20 by 10 Riddler 695s in the back, 295, 40 I think in the back of this. That's what we have. I think that's what this one was. I can't read it because it's the, the, the size is up there. So I, th I think it's a 295.40. I'd have to look. It's big. It's really big. JBA mounted the wheels and tires on this thing. So a massive shout out to those guys down in Kearney Mesa, California. They helped out getting all the wheels mounted and didn't scratch them like a lot of places like to do. The wheel tubs I built myself. You can actually kind of see them in the trunk poking out. They're subtle, but they're kind there. Of. So I made those, that's I think 20 gauge, 20 gauge. Yeah. Uh, basically just made it out of cardboard, threw it in there, and now we have a full tub. There's videos on all of this stuff too. I don't want to forget forget that. If you guys want to go back in some of my videos, I show how I do pretty much all of this. I end up notching into the rear of the car where, where the seat goes to fit the drive shaft because this car sits so low. When I first put this car on the ground, the frame rail was four inches from the floor. Think about that, the frame. So yeah, I actually can't go out of the exit over there because I will rip the exhaust off of this car. So yeah, there's that. Going around the front of the car, we have a champion cooling system in this thing. I know I'm gonna get comments about this. This is probably one of my favorite pieces I've ever put on a car in terms of the cooling system because it basically, you can see there's stuff in it. It's catching all the, the composites and particles and stuff that got in the engine from it sitting for a year. And I can actually unscrew that. There's a piece of tempered, I think it's either, it's tempered glass, I think is what it is. You can unscrew it and clean it out, wash it out, put it back together. It's got a screen in it. You can monitor the condition of your coolant, everything. It's actually really, really cool. And I can tell if there's air in the system, which there obviously is because we have a hole in a radiator. It makes it really easy to bleed, check the cooling system and all that stuff. I want to thank Optima Batteries for, for supplying the battery for this car. Um, it's got an Optima 35 series red top in it. I've had nothing but good experience with those in all of my cars. All of them have red tops in them. And then we had Heat Shield Products make the custom battery tray wrap around it. It'd be kind of hard to show that, um, but they actually custom made that for me. I'm gonna talk to Chris. If you're watching this, make those. I will sell them, I promise. Because you guys want those in your engine bay. They look fantastic. And then that is a battery box, an Optima 35 series battery box from, I believe, Competitive Metals in San Diego, California. But you can see all the heat shield goodies pretty much throughout this car. Spark plug boots, we got the master cylinder, all the way down to the fuel lines. This is all their hot rod sleeve that runs all the way around it. That's good to 1100 degrees consistent. So very, very good. So we had ECP powder coat, pretty much everything on the front of this car. This was all stuff for our Red Galaxy that I had taken off because I'm gonna go even further with that car. And it went back on this one. So yeah, all the American coilovers as well on this one. Uh, look at the fans on this radiator. I don't think I, I showed that. So this is, I think a 30 by 24, 32 by 24. It's literally as large as I could 31. go. 31, yeah, it's as large as I could physically go between the two fender aprons without hitting anything. So yeah, it's it's massive. It's not a Galaxy radiator at all. No, Champion um, built this custom for you. Yeah, this you had one to measure was, the car. Yeah, this was a custom one. Um, I believe these are 800 something CFM. They're they're very large fans. I mean, these things are literally spitting coolant in my face as I'm driving the car with no windshield. They are very very good fans. I will have basically all the companies and part numbers and basically a little short like abbreviated build list of all the things that are on this car in the description of this video, as well as my own website link if you wanna support my own builds. I really do appreciate you guys. I'm trying to think, I know I'm forgetting something. It's just hard when there's so much stuff going into this car. Um, yeah, it's it's, it's a par crazy parts car, dude. It's not a parts car. I, I, I don't know why I keep saying it. it's not a parts car. It's a parts car. It's not. <laughs> sure, it's a parts car, yeah, but I mean. It's a parts car for your parts car. Yeah, well, I mean, the gauges are out of my, my Red Galaxy. Those are a set of autometers that I got in the car when I bought it. We're gonna put a digital Ignore match. the interior. Yeah. Other than the gauges. But uh, I don't think I'm forgetting anything else. I feel really bad if I am. Yeah, all the companies that made this car happen, I cannot say anything better, but thank you. It means the world to me, the guys that have reached out and actually supplied parts for this thing. Yeah, I couldn't have built it by myself. Same with that, Marty helped me do the wiring on this thing. I mean, the entire harness, we redid the whole, the painless, duh! We did the whole painless harness in this car. Painless supplied the wiring harness for this car. It's absolutely, it works beautifully. I mean, we didn't have to cut almost any wires out of it. It was just basically plug and play. It's a universal 21 circuit. I don't think they make one for this car, but it worked beautifully. I mean, you can see in the engine. Plug bay, and play. It is plug and play. Well, we had to make the plugs, but that was really it. You just have to make the plugs. You figure out what you are and aren't using some things you're not gonna use. But for the most part, we didn't have to modify that many wires at all, which was impressive. We still wired an entire car, done and done, wire tucked and all in four days. Yep. Pretty good. So, and that's without a single wire in the car. I so. will say their, their quality of their wire is yeah. fantastic. It's very, very good wire. So it's all USA made. Everything they make is in USA. I'm pretty sure every single company 
or almost every single company on this car is USA stuff. So that's another thing that's really, really cool. I wanted to thank you guys a bunch for watching the video. We're gonna drive this thing back home, probably do a little bit of a bolt check with it. I haven't really bolt checked it as well as I should have because I wanted to drive it. But uh, yeah, so I appreciate you guys watching. I'll sketch you guys up. We're back in the house. You're up next, baby. It's been a long, over a year now. And now this spot is finally empty. The car's been sitting here for like a year and four months. Did all the sheet metal work with Auto Metal Direct, getting the car fixed. And it's finally an empty bay. You can see the mess, the absolutely incredible mess that we've made back here. But we have a car that runs, so it's all right. So I'm pretty happy with that. As we walk to the front yard, you can just see the amount of junk that we have up here. An absolute stockpile of just everything to make the dang car work. <laughs> yeah, organized mess. I'm gonna have a fun time cleaning all of this. My garage is an absolute disaster. But we have a car that works. I'm happy with it. I put the gauge lights in it, which is pretty rad. So that's pretty cool. Turn the exposure down so you guys can actually see them. Yeah, fancy. It's getting there, little by little. I'm stoked with the car, the way it's coming out. It's a good driver now, so I like that. I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, massive shout out to all the companies that I said are helping me out with this project. It really means a lot to me. Massive thank you to this guy over here, helping me out doing the wiring. Would not have been able to do that. Thank you big time for Mar Marty for helping me out. We're gonna have to bring his Mustang down here and show you guys some stuff on that car and possibly do some sheet metal on it because it's a rusty Bondo field piece of garbage as well. So we get to fix Yay. it. Yay. <laughs> but yeah, the Galaxy's back. Super, super stoked. That's kind of why we haven't been uploading a lot was is because we've been spending a week straight wiring it and I had school and other stuff. So I appreciate you guys' patience sticking with me for the long run with this thing. We got a lot coming for it. So thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you did enjoy. Let me think down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video with the Galaxy. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> See you guys.